Welcome back to Underwater Math. Today we are going to review representing data with pictographs. A pictograph is a graph made up of pictures. Each picture can represent one or more items. In this graph, each shark picture represents four sharks. One, I see some half sharks there. I could make some half people if we're going to play this game. No, my shark friend, you've got it all wrong. Since each whole shark represents four sharks, each half shark represents half of four, which is two sharks. Then I guess I won't eat you now. I appreciate that. Anyhow, let's look at what we've got in this pictograph. There are three whole shark pictures and one half shark picture by the great white. So if we count by fours, we have four, eight, 12, then two more for the half shark. So that's 14 great white sharks. Can you try the others? There are four, eight, 12, 16, 20, plus two, is 22 hammerheads. There are four, eight, 12, 16 mako sharks. And there are four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, plus two is 26 tiger sharks. Great job. Now let's look at making our own pictograph. Let's make a pictograph on types of fish I ate today. I had 18 tuna fish, 12 mackerel, three stingrays, and 24 scallops. I'm so stuffed I can barely zip my pants. Sharks don't wear pants. That's why I can't zip them. And I don't have pants. Anyways, let's use a picture of a fish for our pictograph. And since almost all of our values are divisible by six, we will make every fish represent six fish that you ate. Sounds delicious. The three is half of six. So we will be able to use half a fish picture to represent those three stingrays when we get there. So 18 tuna fish. Let's count by sixes until we get to 18. Six, 12, 18. So we need three fish pictures for the tuna fish. For mackerel, we need six, 12. Only two fish pictures. Remember for the stingrays, we only need half the fish picture since three is half of six. Last, for the scallops, we need six, 12, 18, 24. We need four fish pictures. Is it lunchtime yet? You did great work today. You can go have a snack.